I was handed a name and a mandate. Uh, Shobi comes from 2 Samuel chapter 17 in the Old Testament. Nobody knows that reference, that's okay. So transportation is a huge barrier to accessing Christian community. So what we said is we're not solving the issue of transportation, we're overcoming that as a barrier to participation in community. So we said we'll bring church to two people. So what we've said is while we're not solving issues of hunger, we're responding to issues of food quality and, and giving people really good food that can also be taken home and heated up so that it can keep blood sugars from crashing. So we make calzones from scratch, fresh dough, really yummy ingredients. The current favorite is the Swedish meatball one. Ah, real important. I used to be homeless myself for a few months and they, they kind of need something like that where it's homemade and handmade and gives them something different than the Salvation Army and the missions and stuff. So it makes a big difference in the area of where we're at. And so we're able to give those to folks and say here's something warm, nutritious, and uh, you can keep it uh, and heat it up later if you need to. The two pieces we are solving are issues of vocation and community. So there have been slowly an eroding of opportunities for people with disabilities, people on the margins, to participate in community activities in a healthy way. So we then said, well, let's do a food truck because that overcomes the barrier to transportation. It brings us two people. It does good food. It responds to the need of food. We give people an opportunity to be of service to their community, and we give people an opportunity to build community. And so that's what we do. So we have a food truck to respond to those four needs. The planning of this has been like nothing I have ever seen. This is not my ministry. This ministry only came about because of the Holy Spirit. We see about 75 people a week in, and we feed them in about an hour to an hour and a half each Thursday. And what we found is people are hungry to be known, right? People want to be known by a pastor, by a community, and seen as simply uh, one of God's chosen, right? People want to be named and claimed, and that's what we get to do because we have no agenda.